Infinite Tarot 888. This message is going to be for Taurus. Now, you can have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Taurus. This message may resonate with you. Now, Taurus, I was picking up on somebody reflecting maybe the loss of you. Or this could be you. And for some of you guys, this particular person it may be feeling lonely. Or you could, this could be you. But they're very shocked. Taurus, this particular person could see you like this. Man or woman. Even if you're by yourself, they see you like this. But they wonder who or what are you doing. This particular person, look, they see you with money, with love. And Taurus, look, it's almost like they see you going in a different direction. <coughs> and this and I'm, I'm this song came out with the love will keep us alive from the eagles. So eagles have something specific for you guys. Maybe you guys have the ability to see things from a higher perspective. And this particular person didn't want to understand you. Or this could be you, that you're needing to see things from a higher perspective. Put yourself where you belong, because there's a lot of conflict. This could have been a third-party situation. Because somebody, or maybe all three of you fuckers, ended up like this. Alone. For some of you guys, you will know if it resonates. For some of you guys... <clears throat> Taurus, the person that hurt you. Look, as soon as I split it, could have been a, a Leo. This Leo, if you notice this Leo, they're writing a like they could have been immature. <coughs> For some of you guys, this Leo. If you really pay attention, it's like childish. I don't know why, but I'm getting this thing, this energy, is this download. It's almost like you might have caught them <coughs> in a lie. Or you might have asked them about something like this. And it falls right underneath the page of cups. It's like a lot of you guys were acting stupid. And it's like, hey... I have a feeling that you're fucking around doing this and that, man or woman. <coughs> but Taurus, you were very balanced when you were talking about this. And this person was very immature. It's almost like this person wanted to play you. They wanted to breadcrumb you, the six of pentacles. For some of you guys, this was a tick for tack. And you still stayed balanced this particular person could have held money back from you now this could be happening <coughs> to you or you're doing this to them or you did in the past or you could have somebody a sibling that is going through this but this particular person i think they had a lot of love for you if you were dealing with somebody that uh, was doing these tricks these little bullshit tricks you know, they needed to heal. For a lot of them, they were watching you heal. And it's almost like they didn't believe in that bullshit. They wanted to, to control you. And that's, you know, controllers of the devil, if you guys don't know. And now, Taurus, you might have not been the most perfect person, man or female. You look like it from the outside, you know. You might show it off a little bit. Maybe you got a little legs and all that. You might show it off. And For a lot of you guys, you gave them the opportunity. You gave them the sword. Like, I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell me the truth, man or woman. But this, this person, it looks like they have a lot of pride. If this was a Leo, they thought they were the shit. But look. If this is man or woman, they still don't know how to wipe their ass. 
they wanted to play <laughs> a game. And for some of you guys, you said, all right. Even though you have these memories with this particular person, because some of you guys, you could have had kids. Whatever this particular person did to you, you knew they were going to fall in this ten of swords. And they knew this was not a good idea, but they still did it. And the craziest thing is, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart. This came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Look at this. For a lot of you guys, this particular person, Taurus, with this bunny that they hid from you, because look, they hid it from you. And at this moment, they're shitting bricks. They're not there yet, man or woman. Or if this was the third party situation that they, they were hiding from everybody, trust me, even that fucker, man or woman, they're fucking in this energy. It's almost like God, see how everything's burning apart? It's almost like God slowly is, is taking, you know, exposing them. It's just a matter of time. There's a hunt out there. And this could be spiritually before it comes down on earth. And they know this is coming. But they're maybe putting a front that they're the top dog. Or they fantasized about being in your position is what I'm hearing. Because Taurus, you're the empress. You did the shit put in the comments. I'm the motherfucking empress. And instead of this person being straight with you, straight up with you. Oh, no. They thought they were going to get away with it. See? Oh, no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like Taurus. For some of you guys, this was a tick for tat. But you responded in this energy. You held your, you tamed that energy. Cause for a lot of you guys, they know, they know. But look, you didn't get that response. You walked away, and this person, it's almost like they caused these unnecessary battles that they wanted. For a lot of you guys, they wanted you in jail. Some of you guys, they wanted you dead. But, you know, and the will of fortune with the fucking devil. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. Look. Mm-hmm. They, they placed these burdens on you. And you know what's crazy, Taurus? For a lot of you guys, if you were dealing with somebody that you helped betray... That person's already betraying you because, look, they're about to give you up. This person's all about money. Think about it, guys. It, it, I'm hearing from... If they were able to betray this person, maybe they're, they're, if it was a spouse, if this was in business, man, that's crazy. How do you go in business? I'm hearing two people that are thieves matching up together. How does that shit work? Because this could be even in business. But if this was a third party situation and they teamed up, it's it's almost like they they wanted to uh, they wanted to be the hero, like to take this power, man or woman, you know. But you know, be in this energy. Oh, you need my help? Here they come. I'll help you. <coughs> it could have been a third party situation, like it got caught. But for a lot of you guys, the person that betrayed you, they didn't get away with it. Because a lot of you guys are out, but you're just moving different. If you notice, where's, where's this? What was that? <laughs> if you saw the lion, they don't want me to even look for it. They said, you're just moving different. God has you moving different. So that's what's up. Let's put, let's put them back to the thing. Let's see. So a lot of you guys, this situation... It, it was more, look, I'm talking to, to a, a Taurus that the reason you were just, I'm here, you were just, you know, the reaction that they wanted from you, they didn't get it. And what they're realizing is. That you 
for whatever reason you communicated to them about your spiritual journey and that they basically that God would bring justice. Look, now they're trusting. They're trusting. They're going to be trusted. <laughs> so for a lot of you guys, whatever they took from you, you ain't worried about it. Because for a lot of you guys, they're sitting at, they're sitting on your things. And they don't even know what to do with it. If it's a talent, you know, like people that they say, oh, they're, they're going to take my blessing. No, they, they can't take your blessing. What is for you is for you. Claim it. They can attempt to take it. But the blessing is within you. Look, and people are realizing they're seeing that shit. So a lot of you guys, look, this person, again, what did they win? They wanted to show off. For some of you guys, this is even a sibling. Look, trying to flex. Oh, yeah, I could do this and that. And if, if you guys are the opposite sex, like a brother and sister situation, this particular person is like, you might even said, hey, if you if you guys worked in the same place or you guys had a family business, okay, no, no, no. Here, give it to you. I'll give it to you. But this prideful, if this was a, a girl, they were so prideful or a, boy, or a man. I, but I'm seeing a girl right here. A man saying, okay, you want this shit? Here you go. And what's being exposed is that they left it in five of pinnacles. This could be a water sign of Pisces, I heard. And they're trying to, it's almost like they try to throw it on you. Because a lot of you guys, Taurus, you ain't saying shit. This... This is crazy. For some of you guys, I don't know, but they they try to put it on you, but they're being exposed. You weren't around anyways. Some of you guys were on a spiritual journey. You were gone, and this person just, look, Pisces right there, and this is the fucking truth. This Pisces put, they were a fool. For a lot of you guys, if this was a spouse, they believe somebody else, or they believe your sibling is what I'm hearing, or they teamed up. And all where it's leading them, they thought they were getting this and they might have got attention. For a lot of them, tick for tech, they fucking, they did the most because look, devil energy, Jezebel energy. If this was a woman, oh my God. For some of you guys, you exposed a lot from their past. The, the, the universe, God had already gave you this communication because God wanted you to... Get the freaking out of there. So it caused the tower. For some of you guys, you had to move in a different direction. And at first, you might have been in this energy. Maybe not had anything with you going to a place. It's like, damn, it's all dead. And for some of you guys, it was your sister that left this whole. It's like she killed the whole legacy. In a tower, man, they're getting a tower. Because look at this. You sit in here like like this in the chariot moving around. For some of you guys, you ain't really working. And they wonder, well, if they took all your money, why, why is Taurus still out here mingling and, you know, meeting people or some of you guys? <coughs> if this particular person put laws on you, the laws are still looking, but they ain't finding shit. They just see you have options and love. And that's what they're communicating back, you know? So some of you Taurus, man, you, you have people intimidated because some of them want to return back to you and they can't. They burned their own fucking bridge. They know they got caught. They know they were busted. For some of you guys, if your person... Or whoever this person <coughs> took off or teamed up with another person, their family is gonna beat the shit out of them. And they're not gonna be able to do nothing. So they they look, they're gonna be thinking about you. But for a lot of you guys, Taurus, what they did to you, but I don't know what. I'm Taurus, you're already gone. You're moving. You moved on. But going back to something about <coughs> something about how and when you let go of people or you 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 walk out or if they walk out of your life, 
there's something about you that triggers the hell out of this particular person or people. Because look, they could be pissed off like, I got everything. I got everything. I got money and, and this and that. But Taurus, whether you're a man or female, you make your own money. You have all these people that, that they want you or not even want you in that way. I don't think you brag about it. But you do have your options. Maybe you don't say them. But they wanted you in this energy. And now they're in this energy. And it could, this could be, look, this could be, I'm telling you, even if they had money, they don't have your charisma. They don't have your swag, baby. They, this is a person that, that probably even tries to be like you, you know, secretly wants to be like you. <laughs> Man or woman, you just have a way of doing your thing. And you might have been in this energy of, of uh, this could have been what they put you through. You didn't, you know, and you wanted to whoop some ass. But you know what? You said, you know, I'm going to give it to God. And that was the best thing you could do. And this is part of your lesson. For you to focus, to let go, and those people that that are triggered, that are triggered, I mean, fuck, they're triggered. You trigger the fuck out of them. It's almost like you, you fucking whoop their ass spiritually. There they are reminiscent. They have people sneaking in and out. Maybe you found out about that, you know. But they thought they were the shit until you. They felt your absence. They have this mental conflict. It's like their demons are like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> now we're going to be in this energy. <coughs> now we're being exposed. It's like, it's just a matter of time. And, and Taurus, I see you with this patience. And maybe they didn't, they never knew that part of you. Maybe you were just one of them bulls that just fucking, once you saw... You know, if somebody took your money, you would have reacted in a certain way. And you could have. A lot of them ain't talking about what they did to you. Mm -mm. Especially this one right here. This it could be the Leo. Oh, yeah, I didn't do anything. I'm so innocent. I, I, don't, I don't even kill a fly. Bitch, shut the fuck up. This person is about to be publicly humiliated. I'm hearing what they put you through and worse. A lot of you guys just stayed on your assignment. You just went with your healing. You stayed healing. This You're going to know this is you because before all this happened, you were in this energy. You manifest like a motherfucker. And even if you fucking tipsy here and there, you still favored by God is what I'm hearing. You could have all these burdens. But here comes these blessings. Because a lot of you guys, you don't bring conflict to people. You're going to know this particular person. Because look, they're in the limelight. I did it all by myself. Whatever you might have left them, people see them. <laughs> it, you got to hand it over to you. Man or female. I did it all by myself. And if this is a sister, yes, my daddy taught me everything. Did your daddy tell you to fucking lose everything? <laughs> Betray your own family? Hell no. And that's the truth for a lot of you guys. You're, you're going to speak your testimony. The, if you study the, the study of, uh, study this, I think this is Joan of Arc. The, God has sent an angel for her to voice this. She didn't want to, but she's going to voice he or she. And it's just in God's divine timing. And God's going to line it up. That's why a lot of you guys, if you're dealing with the torch that ain't saying shit, it's because he's on a divine mission. He, he's going to get his justice. And look, it's, it's going to come together is what I'm hearing. <laughs> he might be running like a fool, but there's somebody that's going to be running straight into the Ten of Swords. And this is somebody that caused all this. Look, they had a group of people, but now they're standing alone. You're going to you're going to know this particular person. This particular person could have even paid other people to come against you. This is what's going to come out. But you ain't got to worry about shit is what I'm hearing. Everything they took, look, they got to give it back. It's justice. And I'm hearing, whoop, there it is. Could have been somebody from your childhood. Somebody you had a lot of love for, look. And then the betrayal. This particular person, look. They're going to wish they never betrayed you is what I'm hearing. But they're intimidated. They know you know. They know you know, and you're going to know because this particular person, <coughs> I'm hearing, 
If this person went to jail, I'd hear it even eight times during this situation. This person didn't do time. The universe just pushed them over to a different location, prepped them, and I'm here and brought them back or bringing them back or bringing her back. But look, it's because of this star power. It says right here, you need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural act actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. And they wanted to knock that shit off of you, huh? So for a lot of you guys, this is what you have coming. But remember, divine timing is at play. For some of you guys, it has to do with the spiritual work. You're shifting in a different direction. Pass. And it says right here, great match for a lot of you guys. The divine is about to place a perfect person, a perfect job, maybe something that you were, <coughs> that you've been asking for. And I said, perfect match. And we get these two rings. Mm. It says right here, you are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy. So there's something you're going to start. This is for the people. You're going to start it from day one. You're not going to start something that you had with somebody else. You're starting with day one. And this is something that is meant for you. You're going to be married to it. This is something nobody could take. This is you, yourself, with God, the universe, is what I'm hearing. You're putting God first. This is an opportunity could turn into a long-term career move. It's something that you're playing with as far as, mm-hmm. You know, some side hustles <coughs> for some of you guys. There's an ending. You rolled the dice or somebody rolled the dice and you accepted the ending. For some of you guys, whew, I don't even want to say this. Just say, keep it pushing forward. Or you will be asked to commit to a position exchange for money. Oh, my God. Look. This is what they were trying to hold you back is from your freedom. They were jealous. They didn't want you. For a lot of you guys, you would have helped this particular person, this group of people. You just want, I'm hearing you just wanted your divine, you, you were finding your divine purpose. But you're about to receive this freedom. Whatever job that the universe has for you, <coughs> because you kept this attitude of no worries. They wanted to take your independence. This could have been even your own family, your parents, your siblings. They, didn't, they wanted you trapped because te va la, se va la buena suerte. But you, whatever you wish, for some of you guys, you wish for a new career for you. And look, look at this cat. This cat ain't worried. It said it's time to go out on your own. And you told this particular person is what I'm hearing. You were selling away. Some of you guys... <coughs> we're moving in a different direction. It was time you felt that calling. For some of you guys, they laughed because you were, you know, getting closer to God. But because you didn't fail, because you stay. If you're trying to go back and forth, don't be trying to have one foot in and one foot out. If God takes some shit away from you and he says, move, you better move because, look, the rewards come. God ain't going to play with you, man. What's wrong with you? Man or woman, look, outside forces are going to keep you. These people are going to tell you, no te vayas, don't leave. Back and forth, up and up. And, the, everything that you're going through, trials and tribulations. It's painful. It's hurtful. It's a test about if you're going to seek revenge. But most importantly, are you going to trust in God, the universe? A lot of you guys, what you're going to endure, whatever betrayals that you endure, it's going to place you in this position, the powerful position, especially when you understand that what you're going through is not personal with that person. This is a spiritual. When you unlock this in your mind, when you unlock this Knowledge that they've been keeping from you, you're going to say, holy shit. That spouse that used to look good, is they might still be looking good, but they're possessed. 
the devil used what? The closest ones to you. If it's your kids, you had to surrender. You had to let it go, baby. Give it to God. <coughs> this is your time to rise, baby. This is... You're going to gain your freedom. If they're meant to come in your, in your life again, allow God to approve that. Because otherwise, they're going to keep you trapped. You don't need that shit. God don't need that. And baby, you a stallion. Man or female, a lot of you guys, you looking younger. You got know, that old pinche machine, and they miss that shit. But you're moving forward, man. It's your time. This is your calling. Do whatever you want. You can sleep on it, dreaming about it, or you could be about it is what I'm hearing. Look, it's going to look like this. Like, shit ain't, I'm not getting nowhere. Just wait, look, because there's going to be fast changes, but it's on divine timing, not on your timing. So that's what I got for you. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere in your chart. And yes, look, this card came out. Look, this is how your enemies, those people that betrayed you, could be a group of three. They could hide. Maybe they dug a pit where they fell in. And here comes the divine dropping a bomb. Like I said, there's some people intimidated to even approach you. Because they know you know, baby. And they know as well. If you ain't coming towards them. Some of you guys, look, you're building connections like you don't even imagine. Mm -mm. Mm, they're going to be coming to you. Don't be losing my number. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I have for you. What else do we have? We have a, let's, let's give you guys a, okay, this one, okay. Two cards. They're going to say one this one and one over there. You don't can't see, but I see. One, two, three. What do we have? Okay, this one. It says right here. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. So if you have the faith of a mustard seed, baby, it's going to turn. You're going to start to connect. I see that with God and you, you. Amazing things happen when you have made your faith. So this could be testing your faith. <coughs> they don't want me to tell you this. Yes, but you got to be courageous. Courageous like a lion, no matter what. The devil creates these illusions. Tu síguele para adelante. Fuck that, man. Nah, man, don't give up. A lot of you guys, you're seeking knowledge. You're breaking generational curses. It says, forgive the fuck out of someone today. And a lot of you guys, you forgave a long time ago. If you have somebody that did you wrong and they see you out here doing okay, <coughs> you done forgave them fuckers. A lot of them, they're trying to do this holding back. To hold you mentally. To mind fuck you. But they're surprised because I'm they're fucking triggered. Because things are working out for you. The more they take from you, the greater the blessing you get. Remember that. Okay? So put on there. I'm going to forgive the fuck out of them. Shit. You ain't going to affect your blessings. It says right there. It says right here. You're probably thinking, it's not that easy. The fuck it is easy. Let go. I tell you guys. Love your spiritual journey. Forgive. Let go. Forget. Yamanos a la chingada to the fucking taco stand. It says, uh, sorry, but yes, the fuck it is. Take all the energy you've put into being bad and make a case for how wrong soul and soul is. And let that shit go. Start small. Like you can say, man, I forgive that fucker. With love. With love. Little by little, man, I forgive that. I, I don't even remember. Chingue sumare. That person, <laughs> that's why they call it karmic debt. Don't have to come back and fucking do this shit over. You, Taurus, whoever's listening to here. Because some cars were like, ah, look. You're going to forgive. You're going to low. You know, you're going to do what's best. Start small so you can get the hang of it. The driver, <coughs> the driver who just cut you off, yell at him. I forgive you, fucker. If, you know, maybe you want to flick him back, but you do it with love. None of this rage bullshit, man. We, we got enough violence, you know. Give that shit to God. He knows how to do it better. It's just the secret perks. Forgiving someone usually pisses them off. Worse than anything else. They know. This person knows that no matter how hard they tried to fuck you over, 
They know you blessed. Put it in the comments. I'm blessed as fuck. Or you're too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> they're not shocked no more. They're more, they more, they feel more the rejection than what you do, Taurus. Or if you have Taurus anywhere, you're charged. <coughs> Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you. Don't worry, you have a lot of protection. If in the tarot, 888.